the circle of Heka, I'm Lady Mars. Well, about, about a week and a half ago, I was looking at a, uh, a video on Joey Morris's channel. Uh, she is the proprietor of uh, Starry-Eyed uh, Supplies uh, in the UK, and she, do, she does lots and lots of things. But I was looking at uh, Working Witch, how to use spell oils, uh, and some requested, this was a requested uh, video, I think. Now, um, I've been watching her, um, I've been watching her, uh, again, I sound like a stalker, uh, and uh, I, I find her videos very, very informative, very entertaining, and the fact that she has a, a relationship with her, her goddess, the, the Morrigan, her, her connection and her devotion to her goddess is, I, I, I rarely see it in many people. And uh, it, it's, it's a refreshing thing to see. Um, and so anyway, I was looking at her video and uh, I've been thinking about getting some stuff from her for, for a while, kind of you know, circling around a little bit like a shark. And I, uh, it wasn't until I saw this video and I looked at uh, the, uh, I think it was the crow, um, the very first one that I saw, it was the crow oil. And it was, it was alive. Yeah, there, there, there's little bits of, uh, um, she calls it shimmy, little bits of glittery bits and pieces in it. But it was almost like uh, you could you could see the the energetic uh, life force within that oil. Uh, and again, that that's something that, that that you want. If you're buying a a spell oil from someone, you want to you want to feel the magic that's in there and. And it just leapt out uh, of the screen at me. So that meant that, okay, this was time that I had to buy something. Now, uh, because I'm in Australia, it didn't take very long. It took, uh, it took about a week to get to Australia. It actually probably took longer to get to my house after being in Australia than it did coming from the UK, which is, which is kind of normal. So the first one that I got was this little cauldron and you can see here it has the onk on the front it's all in white it's a little cauldron uh, it's a little little cauldron container now I will put the little image that's on the make sure that it's actually in frame that's on the website uh, because and I'm not um, I'm not saying that this is horrible or anything, it's just a fact of life. But because I live in Australia and it's summertime, and I would dare say that my package has probably set, it sat in some uh, warehouse for a couple of days <laughs> uh, because I looked at the tracking and I thought that's weird. It's in, it's in Perth, Western Australia. Why hasn't it arrived yet? But um, so it sat in, in some depot somewhere and we have had quite a few hot days now it's been on average about 39 to 41 degrees uh, for the uh, last couple of days and um, which is what is it it's about um, 105 106 degrees Fahrenheit so pretty damn hot so what I'm saying is that the picture isn't going to look exactly the same when I turn it over and I'll get you to look at the inside because it is melted a little bit and it's melted and the bubble wrap has kind of gotten in there which I think is I think is cool um, I am not um, sad or disappointed about that as I said it's a fact of life uh, living in Australia things get hot and things melt so it is melted a little bit and I think you can see um, you can see it's melted just in there so I had to wipe a little bit off and I obviously wasn't as good as I should have been but you can see that it's still got the shimmy it's still got all the little bits and pieces in it and you know just because it's melted a little bit doesn't mean the magic has has uh, has dissipated and that was one of the things that I noticed when I opened up the package it, it did have that that magic that that aliveness uh, you know, it was like there was almost like these little little entities in the in the package, and they, when I opened up the package, they 
a sigh of relief because they were all a bit hot and <laughs> and um, uh, need a little bit of air. But as you can see, the bubble wrap has uh, has gone on this. So this one here is um, the uh, goddess Isis spell cauldron candle, and this one is the dark goddess. And she has three of them. She has um, it would be like maiden, mother, and crone, or um, Hopefully I'm not saying the wrong thing, but I will um, I will link the video that she has done for this one uh, if you are interested. And uh, there is a whole um, information about it. There are three of these. These are for, for Isis, and this is the dark the dark goddess. I'm uh, a bit partial to the the dark at the moment. And uh, I'll just read for you. I'll put the actual picture of the the one that she has on the on the internet up for you instead of this one here. But Isis is uh, is one of my goddesses. I uh, I have uh, I see Isis as a as it, as it says in the uh, in the description a primal goddess. I uh, see her as older than uh, than the Egyptian, um, older than Tiamat even, and uh, uh, she is light and dark. Um, Destroyer and giver of life. She is uh, she is the goddess, and um, and many goddesses uh, come in different different faces for different people. So uh, so one of the faces that she comes in for me is Isis. So again, this is the one that I got with the onk. I really really like this, and as I said, I am not worried about that at all. That that's fine. That this gives it a little bit of nuance, a little bit of uh, Australian flavour. So, uh, <laughs> um, so that is fine, and it's and it's really wonderful. And I can't wait to actually use this this uh, this candle. So the second one that I got, getting uh, staying with the dark theme. So um, the second one that I have is the Hecate Spell uh, Cauldron. This one is in the dark, and um, so again we have a little bit of duality going on there. So this one here has a nice little little pentacle on it, very nice. And again, as I said, this one didn't get as melty, Let's see. but it has got the shimmy, Let's see if you can see it in the light, it has got the pieces, bits and pieces in it, so you know that you know, it's handmade, it's got all the, the stuff in it. But again, it's melted slightly and it has the, uh, the uh, bubble wrap. <laughs> mold in there so we'll just we'll just call those um, um, pock marks of Australia um, from there. and I'll give you a picture of, of how it looks on the website as well just so that you have a little bit of a, a um, comparison uh, again I think this is really really lovely uh, the presentation is, is wonderful and um, and again I'm not worried about that wonderful little um, handmade energy has been put in there and you can feel it when you when you touch it you can feel the difference between the two energies they are very similar because they are primal goddesses but at the same time they are different and you can feel that when you when you touch them and and um, and you know, just look at them you can see that they're different not just because one's white and one's black that's that's um, a little bit trite, but um, you can actually feel you know, feel the energy difference. So those two there, and then the other bits and pieces that I got was the oil. So this is this is the oil. Okay, now I'll just shake it up so that you can see just how wonderful and magical it is. This is the Witching Hour spell oil, and it was made. Um, for Sawin and uh, okay so you can see just how magical that is you can see the bits and pieces in there now I love having oils that have the ingredients still in there I I Kind of have second thoughts about getting oils that don't have um, any pieces of of the, uh, the the root or the the uh, the magical part of of the uh, 
the intent within there. Um, when you, you go to, to stores and you see oils, they're just a lot of the time they're just coloured oil. Uh, and again, you put your hands on there, you can, you can feel that it's just coloured oil with the name on it. It's mass produced, it is, um, it is not, um, it's not magical. Now, you could argue that you get that and then you put your, mag your own magical influence in there and that's fine. But when you are um, buying spell oils, and sometimes they are quite expensive, you want to know that there is, there is some magic in there. And as you can see, it's got wonderful little pieces in there and it's got little, little bits of, um, I'm not sure what that is, I'll have to have a, have a little bit of a look, um, but um, it almost looks like fairy wings, so the, uh, the dark sinister side in me is like, <laughs> someone's just plucked some fairies and put their wings in there, uh, but it is the witching hour, as that swirling, changing, no bit is the same. I'll just give you a little bit of a, a shake. As you can see, just, you can get lost in there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. I can almost, I can almost smell it. Look how close that is. <laughs> uh, and you can feel the energy over off of this. And um, the last one I got was Blade Over Shield Morrigan Protection Oil. Now, as I was saying before, uh, Joey has a, uh, a relationship with the Morrigan. I'll just shake it because it's kind of settled a little bit. A relationship with the, the Morrigan that I have, I, have see, I see in few people with, their, with, their, with deity, um, that relationship. And uh, so if you're going to get... A, um, a goddess related spell oil from someone you want to know that that person has a, an intimate relationship with their goddess they they have the main line to to that energy and uh, so this is a blade over shield protection oil from the Morrigan and you can see it has all those little bits in there and it's almost it just reminds me a little bit of a little bit like blood um, <laughs> and and uh, and you have shards, so it's just it it has a little bit of a sinister sinister quality to it, but it's almost like it is it's almost like looking into a battlefield. So um, you can see that within the oil. So again, this is all her own work. There's no synthetic um, oils or roots used, which is great. And you can see, uh, I'm sh I hope you can. You can see the. Uh, the energy that uh, is within this oil, and you get quite a lot. I, you know, I'm not a. Uh, you know, I do make some of my own stuff, and I love getting other people's bits and pieces because you get to a certain point where you're putting your own energies in, and then sometimes you just need someone else's energies just to give that little bit of a jolt, a little bit of an oomph. If you're always doing the same things all the time, um, you never grow and expand, and, and sometimes you just need a, you know, someone else to, to uh, give you a little, bit of a, a little bit of a nudge. So I like to have some, um, some other people's energies and oils um, there. It's the same price, so it is about um, $10.00 for that but as I said that is a lot of oil and you're using it to anoint things unless you have some serious problems going down in your place and 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 by that you know I mean you're gonna need more than just oil you wouldn't go through that in um, in rapid pace um, and uh, so it is very economical very um, very full of energy uh, you can feel it you know, bursting through so I am really looking forward to using these these oils i have a few rituals that i have in mind that i will be using them in and uh, i will give you a bit of a review after i've used them but at the moment these are the the oils that i and the spell candles that i um, purchased and i'm really really happy with them and um, i will leave a link down the down below for all the videos concerning these um, products 
and also if you would like to uh, buy something from Joey, I am sure that you will enjoy her products. As I said, they are all handmade. She hand makes them. She, if you listen to and watch some of her videos, she sits there and thinks about them. She channels the energy. She, um, she researches. She puts a lot of time and energy into all of her products. It's not just a slap dash. Uh, quick little thing there is energy and time involved and a deep connection with whatever goddess that she's working with because she does do uh, requested um, pieces and as you can see they're all handmade they are there's love put in them and you're going to get quality work so I do recommend you you try her out you are going to go online try patroning patroning Try going to people that are, are actually making them themselves. Those little, those little places, the little craft places, because they're putting the energy in, they're putting the love in, and uh, you're going to get a quality, a quality piece. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while since I've done any kind of unboxing um, haul video, and um, yes, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be. If you like this video and want to see more, please click on the links provided. If you think this witchcraft thing may be for you, please subscribe. Blessed be.